in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video showcasing Campanotus nicobarensis, the three queen colony that uh, you have seen recently. I rehoused them into this uh, um, acrylic setup. Again, a similar setup like the Petri dish nest, but this time is square. Uh, you'll understand soon why we have a, a runaway here. So, uh, the colony is doing perfectly fine. They have adapted themselves to this new setup. And we even got a major. Small major over there. Freshly closed. A nice pile of brood. Two queens. And another one here. The reason why she's a little bit far away is because I had to clean the the top of this uh, nest to record this video as it was uh, very humid inside and this brings us to the to the point where why is there a worker roaming around outside that's because I decided to open their outworld to show you that probably to to the fact that it was incredibly humid inside see if I can they decided to bring the pupa outside their nest into the outworld probably because it was too too humid inside as you can see there's a lot of brood also in there and so basically um, this tell me, tells me that I should make yet another chamber, a dry chamber, to prevent them from bringing the brood outside, ke keeping them inside. I think this is the just a normal consequence of a freshly made nest. Of course, in the beginning, everything is extremely humid and but still everything looking great the ants are doing amazing with a very big pile of brood as you can see always active nicobarensis and especially now with the temperature rising to 26 28 degrees celsius i'm expecting an even larger uh, population explosion So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this colony. Again, I think the brood pile is probably double what you're seeing here, uh, accounting for what's in the outworld. Closer look here to our lovely major. I uh, cannot wait for him to develop those the the red head orange head coloration very typical of this species so a lot of trophallaxis going on yeah. and now let's move on to the the black variant of the Campanotus nicobarensis let's see how they're doing so here they are also in the a new nest, easier to record, and as you may remember, last time we saw them they were in the test tube which wasn't looking very good, it was full of mold and probably bacteria. So now I've rehoused them into this uh, smaller nest and here it's, uh, we can see clearly how many we try to get a better angle and some focus so we have five workers and in a reasonable pile of brood I can see a pupae over there 
and some larvae another one over there and small colony but uh, very good looking sorry about this trying to get a bigger better angle So they're not very active at this moment due to the due that they are they are low numbers. But I think they once they start to get to similar size to the uh, colony that we've just seen from the regular ones, it will be interesting to compare the differences and similarities. Let me know on the comment section which one you like more, the black variant or the regular one. Uh, fortunately this light isn't the best, the, the workers normally are a little bit grey and look much better than that they are now. So yeah, uh, wait, sorry, so yeah, um, this is today's video, showcasing and updating you guys on Campanotis Nicobarensis regular and black variant, how they are doing, and um, their new nests. Let me know what you would like to see next, drop me any questions, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video please. Thank you very much, see you on next video, bye bye!